Today we will see Moon Lander. So we straight away go to the Pictoblock interface and start coding for Moon Lander. So by default we have a sprite whose name is Toby. Do we require Toby in Moon Lander? No, we don't require sprite Toby. So what we have to do with a sprite Toby? We need to delete a sprite Toby. Fine. Now we need to choose a sprite. So click on choose sprite. Click on click on search and say rocket. Yes. I have a rocket. Now go to costumes and check how many costumes does this rocket is having. So this rocket is having five costumes. Fun costume one, costume two. Costume 3, Costume 4, Costume 5. So I want, don't want so many costumes. So I will keep only 4th and 5th. The remaining I will delete. So select that. Right click. Delete. Again select. Right click. Delete. Select. Right click. Delete. So we have Costume 1 and Costume 2. So I want Costume 2 to become Costume 1. So what I have to do? So click and drag on our top. Okay, just click and drag on top. So my costume 2 is become costume 1 and costume 1 is become costume 2. Now I will rename them. So select costume 1 and say rocket 1. The second one, second costume I say rocket 2. Okay, so I have rocket 1 and rocket 2. So select rocket 1. That is costume 1 and click on block and resize this sprite rocket. So by default it's 100. So I make it 50 and I press enter. Fine. Now I go to events and I see when green flag is clicked. Why we require green flag? So that we can execute a program. Okay. We need to execute a program. Without green flag can we execute? No. Then I go to motions and I say point in direction 90. I say point in direction 90. Okay, I don't use x and y axis 0 because I don't want my sprite to start from the center of the stage. So I don't use x and y axis 0. Then I go to my blocks and I make a block. I create a block and I say moon lander. And I give an input change in position and I say okay fine then I go to motions okay and I say search for change y by 10 so I don't want 10 so I say point change in position then I go to control and I say if and else okay now I will search an operator less than correct yes so what less than y position so go to motions come down yes if y position is less than what okay is less than what so look at the sprite this is my sprite bring the sprite down towards the edge till it comes down yes it is 158 so it is minus 158 so this is the value we need to enter. So if Y position is less than 150, that is the edge of the stage. So remove 50 and say 158. So understood how we got 158? Look at here, Y axis. Okay. Then set Y. Okay. Set Y to 158. That is minus 158. Set Y to minus 158. Then I go to control again and I say take if and else so first we have seen less than if y position is less than 158 now we will see greater so go to operator search for greater sign yes now now what now change in position if change in position is greater than minus 3 what is this minus 3 value minus 3 value is this value okay minus 158 Okay, this is 158, right? 158 minus 3. So, it will be 155. When it is 155, that is minus 155. Okay, how we got minus 155? So, 158, this value 158 minus 3 will give me 155. Once it reaches 155, okay, it will say 
my rocket landed successfully so go to looks and say landed successful landed successfully for 2 seconds else you can say it is crashed so if change in position is greater than minus 3 that is 155 rocket landed successfully so say landed success or if it is below 155 that is 160 whatever okay that is 158 maximum it can go to 158 okay it will say crash understood then i call my block moon lander okay and i call my block moon lander to zero because gravity zero at the bottom then i say go to control go to if okay if and else so if y position we have to see now to y position so i require greater sign again so i put a greater sign and i go to motions and I bring Y position. If Y position is greater than 158, that is minus 158 at the bottom, okay? If it is minus 158, okay? That is inside, okay? If it is greater than minus 158, okay? Then we'll give one more control, okay? We'll give a keyboard control for it now. Go to control and say if and else okay and i give go to sensing and i say when key space is pressed so when key space is pressed i need to control the rocket right so that's why i'm giving this option that is if and else that is when key space is pressed what will happen i will control the lock rocket okay and i will land it slowly so that it does not crash if it comes fast it will crash so i have to bring it slowly with the help of the keyboard that is the space bar or we can say up arrow whatever okay you can make it up arrow so i'm making it space bar okay space okay if key space is pressed switch costume to rocket 2 okay i go to looks and i say switch costume to rocket 2 okay that is the fire okay coming down slowly coming down so i say switch costume to rocket 2 and i will call my block okay i will call my block go to my blocks and i will call my block yes then i'll give a operator plus operator okay so now i have to add a force because it has to come down right it has to come down from top so it requires a force right acceleration so i require plus sign okay and i say change in position plus i will say minus 0 0.5 okay so before giving minus i need to add two forces so again i will say plus sign here again one more operator and i put here minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 okay so why this is minus i have explained last time in gravity okay this is a negative acceleration it is coming down so i am just adding a force so i am using minus 0 0.5 because it is a negative acceleration I am, and i am adding plus 0 0.848 force i am adding more force okay then again switch costume i will put okay or else i will say switch costume switch costume to 1 okay and i will say switch costume to 1 and i will call my block yes moon lander again i will use plus sign operator i use plus sign operator and i say change in position 
change in position again something happen okay change in position yes plus that is minus 0 0.5 that is the force negative acceleration fine and the last thing again i will say control go to control and we'll say if and else okay if key space if key space is pressed so gravity that is the moon landing part okay the landing part should be certain value okay so i go to motions and i say landing part that is the moon lander 10 okay let it become with speed of 10 and then or else it is zero okay or else it is zero and then i will close my script and i will say moon lander minus one and i will run the program see crashed okay now i will use my space bar to take it up look i'm taking it up look look can you see see take your mouse take take your cursor take it up see it's coming down it's crashed it's coming fast down see keep the space bar pressed see i can control on the keyboard see i'm controlling on the keyboard see i'm controlling on the keyboard it's not coming down i'm just controlling on the keyboard that is the space bar just press and keep and slowly bring it down so that it should land successfully See, slowly bring it down. Crashed. You have to bring it slowly down. Crashed. Crashed. Take it up, leave. Crashed. So slowly. It's a tough time. It's like a game. Slowly land it. Land it successfully. Yes. Understood, students? So kindly go to the codes okay it's a long code okay with one block okay with one block it's, so kindly practice this course so understood students well, how we got minus 1 with 58 this is the negative acceleration that is y axis okay to the edge okay of the stage we get 158 set y to 158 minus 3 chain position is greater than if change position is greater than minus 3 that is what 158 minus 3 that is 155 okay so then it will say land it successful otherwise it will say crash so kindly go to this course and practice okay moon length thank you students